Um, so it's April 22nd, and it's about 4.30 p.m., and I just went on YouTube. I'm here in my apartment, and I, I uh, you know, I went on YouTube to watch some videos, and now this is on, which is like a live stream from a, I guess a press briefing, and really I just wanted to show you some videos uh, because, I, you know, I, I feel like I have this duty to somehow make your day a little bit better. Like, I, I want to. I, I want to show you some of my favorite YouTube videos because maybe you'll feel like making art again or you'll um, drink your coffee differently in the morning or something. So I was going to show you this right here. This is uh, just some uh, footage from The Black Rider, which is this musical by Robert Wilson and William S. Burroughs and Tom Waits. And then there's this, which is one of my favorites. It's this dry queen in the Philippines, and she is sort of this satanic Whitney Houston. Um, there's this footage right here, which uh, I think unequivocally is the greatest video on YouTube. It's Stevie Nicks in the footage, and she is backstage because she's getting her, her uh, portrait done for Rolling Stone. She's going to be on the cover, and it's 1981, and the time that this video was shot, Belladonna, which is her first solo album, it is number one on the charts in North America, and she's wearing her white chiffon, she has this great white ribbon in her hair, and the cynicism of the 80s, it, it hasn't arrived yet. Ronald Reagan, he, he's only been president for about six months. And in front of Stevie Nicks, that's her best friend and makeup artist, backup singer, confidant, sister-in-law, Lori Perry Nicks. And she just listens as Stevie um, tells her about this new song that she's working on. And there's this casualness to the whole conversation, right? Like they're at a slumber party or they're just out to brunch and there is a camera rolling. Maybe by accident, I don't know, but um, you can hear Lindsay Buckingham right here in the background. And this is the chorus, right? And then here Stevie turns back to Lori and she points her eyes upward like she's ready for her touch up. But then she becomes possessed. It's like witchcraft caught on camera. And whoever is filming this, you know, this intern, this photographer for Rolling Stone, an assistant, whomever. You know, they're thinking in this moment that they are capturing something special. And it's going to get away, right? Unless they can just grab it right here in the frame. And no one is thinking about YouTube or view counts or SEO. It's just this one song, Learning to Walk being sung for Stevie's best friends, her ex-lover, and just a few photographers in New York. Typically, a VHS tape lasts 25 years. That's the average lifespan of VHS, which means for this tape sitting in your parents' garage or the Goodwill Thrift, or these four minutes in New York, it was terminal. No one aimed for eternity which means anything could go wrong, anything could happen, like, like a telephone could ring at the perfect moment. Wild Heart 1981 now survives somewhere in a basement, on a little black box in Sausalito, maybe behind a cage with other digital residents. Maybe it's sharing a server. 
with Alex Jones screaming about Sandy Hook. Shoeless blind boy blows away judges on American Idol. Snowflakes react to trans ban. Raw footage of the Vegas shooting. Maybe Stevie Nicks is roommates with this morning's episode of Fox and Friends. One of my favorite things about this video is that the final version of the song, Wild Heart, was unremarkable. It was overproduced and a blip in the career of Fleetwood Mac. This video is not about the song, it's about this moment. This moment we were never meant to see, and one we might not even deserve. <laughs> 